capacitors, I think a really good application because uh, this is a lawnmower because lawnmowers tend to sit several months out of the year and as we know that's terrible on batteries and they don't last very long because of that. So a capacitor, you know, would last in, you know, absolute worst case, if you do run it down over the winter, you just charge it back up in the spring and it's fully functional. If any, I mean, it, it's the last 20 years, uh, fully charged, fully run down, it doesn't matter. So, so it should last a lifetime in the machine. And what I want to show here is I've got an amp meter put in line. We're going to reset this to max and go ahead and show a start. So that start was 152 amps. I've seen some higher than that. We'll do to one more. The second one was 200 and 238. So this is kind of a worst case scenario. Uh, a 22 horsepower Kohler engine and uh, so I think uh, single, a single cap should work just fine for anything smaller than this, anything bigger than this. Uh, I recommend just putting two of them in parallel. You get, you get a little bit better uh, cranking time in case, you know, I think you get about, th uh, you know, three good attempts on this engine and it's fairly reliable so that's never a problem. But yeah, it doesn't hesitate at all. It gets stronger, I think stronger cranking than a battery does. I mean, it hit it one more time here. And that's just with a very poor connection uh, with alligator clips to a, a kind of dirty terminal. It, if I did a more permanent solution here, it would uh, it'd get better starting than that. At any rate, lawnmowers should be a great long-term cost savings and frustration saving.